In this video, we'll balance the equation of potassium plus hydrochloric acid gives us potassium chloride and hydrogen gas. Let's count the atoms up on both sides of the equation. We have one potassium, one hydrogen, one chlorine. On the product side, one potassium, two hydrogens, and then one chlorine. Looks like we should just balance the hydrogens first. They're the only thing that's not balanced. We'll put a two in front of the HCl. So the one times the two, that gives us two hydrogens. Those are balanced but the two applies to everything. So one times two for the chlorines. Now we have two chlorines. Let's balance the chlorines. The only way we can do that is put a coefficient of two in front of the KCl. So the one chlorine times the two, that balances the chlorines, and the one potassium times the two, that changes our potassiums to two. So now the potassiums aren't balanced, but we can fix that pretty easy. If we just put a coefficient of two front of the potassium, one times two, that equals two. And now everything's the same on both sides of this equation and we're done, it's balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for K plus HCl yields KCl plus H2. Thanks for watching.